Hello everyone, this tutorial is about making a waistcoat with attached lining. So for that we need a basic kameez drafting up to our waist. So let's start drafting our basic kameez pattern. So first mark half of your round shoulder measurement. Then you want to go down one inch and mark. Then mark half of your round armhole measurement under that one inch mark and draw a line. Now mark a quarter of your uh, bust measurement. Then you want to mark one inch from the corner and now mark your neckline width, which I'm marking at three and a half inches. Now I'm going to join that point with your armhole point and draw a line. Then you want to find the center of the armhole line and mark. And you want to mark half an inch for the back armhole and join the points and draw this line. So after that, you want to mark one inch for the front armhole and draw this curved line by joining all of these points. Then for the medium size, go down 7 inches and mark your waist point. And at that point, mark a quarter of your round waist measurement. Now you want to join the waist point to the bust point. And then you want to measure 8 inches for the depth of the front neckline. So I measured it 8 inches on straight and on diagonal is 8.5 inches deep. I also measured three and a half inches here on the waistline from the outer side and I joined this point to the neck point. So it's up to you how you want to shape it here. So the pattern for both the front and the back panels of the uh, waist are ready, but to trace it on the cloth you have to first uh, cut just the back pattern out and then we'll cut the front once we're done tracing the back one. So these are two 22 inch wide and 15 inches long pieces of cloth and I'm taking one of the pieces from it and folding it in half. Then you place the pattern with the sleeve side towards the open side and the center of the pattern towards the folded side of the cloth. So trace the pattern but make sure to leave seam allowance on all sides except the folded side. Now remove the pattern and cut the drafting on the cloth. Now measure and draw half inch for the back neckline on the folded side and cut. Now put it aside and take the other piece of cloth and fold it in half as well. Now cut the paper pattern according to the front drafting and trace the pattern but again make sure you leave the seam allowance on all sides. And now we have two front pieces and one, uh, one of the back pieces ready and we arrange it like that so it'll look like this. So for the lining make the back piece your template and cut two more pieces like this. Then leave one piece uh, and draft the front pattern on it and fold this piece in half. So then you want to iron it so it sets nicely. Then place the already cut out front piece on it. And then you want to cut this piece accordingly. Now we have two front pieces for the lining. Now you want to take all three printed pieces and arrange slash position it like this. And then you want to run a stitch on these uh, both of these sides where I was pointing. Now do the same with all three white lining pieces as well. And then you want to arrange it like this again and then run a stitch on both of these sides. Now you want to place the printed piece like this. So this is after I've stitched them and then put the plain one on top. So the right sides are facing each other. Now run a stitch on both of the front sides and both of the armholes as well and the back neckline. So then this is the other armhole and the this is the um, other front side. And then you want to leave all the shoulder seams open and leave the back bottom stitch open as well. And once the stitching is done, you want to cut the notches around the front curved pieces and around the armholes. And then you want to turn it inside out. So I'm just turning it inside out. 
and then you want to arrange it like this so I'm turning over the front pieces over the back piece and then you want to hold the shoulders from the inside like that and then turn it inside out then you want to match the printed cloth with the printed and the plain cloth with the plain cloth and run a stitch on both shoulders and after uh, stitching the uh, shoulder stitch the bottom seam and just leave about three inches open so the bottom stitch is done except a little opening is left to turn it back right side out so to make this video short I'll blind hem this little opening later on and now I'm just going to iron it okay now it's done thank you so much for watching please be sure to comment like and subscribe